our channel. So today is another episode of the Chook. Today we have a very interesting story, guys. Like very, very interesting. Like when I say interesting, I mean like very, very interesting. So today we have a second year boy, man, trying to you know play his seniors. You understand? So without much ado, let's get right into the story. Hi. So it's your girl with me, Kaba. For those of you wondering, without much ado, I like us to get into the story. So as I said earlier, the story is a very interesting story, like very, very, very interesting story. So I like us to get inside. So please get your chair, sit down, and let's listen to the story. So I read, I have this friend who always says she doesn't understand the movie Dune. Dune. Guys, Dune. Okay. I I understood and rated it 8 over 10. She wanted us to watch it with her friends at her hostel, so I narrate the storyline. That's interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. Due to lectures and assignments, I had been busy, so I scheduled a date when I didn't have any lecture and when they would be available. Fast forward, the scheduled day came and I went there with my laptop and girls were already seated like they were at a cinema. Okay? The girls were at the new Goose building. My hostel. Guys. (laughs) Okay, okay. It was my friend and her roommate together with a friend next door. We were watching this movie and I realized it was boring to them. My friend and her roommate said they were hungry, so they needed to go and buy food. Mema. Men. <laughs> the other friend, that's the one next door, said she was enjoying the movie because of my narration, so she stayed back. <laughs> After they left, The place was silent for about three minutes or so. Then I broke the silence by asking her name. She told me and oh cool. Then she asked which level I was. I said 200. She said she was in level 300. We had some convo which had nothing to do with the movie. It was very interesting though. She asked if her friend was my girlfriend. I said no and that we were in the same study group and we barely even speak but because i was free that's why i passed by okay so guys i think we are getting to the interesting part of the story like the very very interesting part of the story this is just like introduction i don't know how come but we started to stare at each other for a while i was thinking and then i kissed her but she didn't kiss back <laughs> oh that's yawa guys for you to kiss a girl and she won't kiss you back i did like why <laughs> I thought I was dead and in trouble, but then she asked me why I did that. I told her she was cute and smelled really good. She told me how would I feel if she told my friend about what I had just done. I told her I would feel embarrassed. All this while, the movie was still on and she told me she was going to the washroom. She would be back. Charlie, the way I was sweating, eh? just can't say I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating right now. She told me she would have been angry. If not because of her friend, I didn't know, I wouldn't know her. And kissed her all of a sudden, from nowhere. Me and Kasa, the way are honey. Now men are honey, like men are honey everywhere. Boys are honey, honey, honey men everywhere in the world. I broke up with my girl in level 100 first try. In me, no, I make Basa already. So she came out and said she would continue. I said, okay. So I had to reverse the movie from where we left off. She said no, not the movie. Okay. Fast forward, I decided to kiss her and she did back. She told me she she was ovulating. And so the kiss made her wet and she couldn't resist. (laughs) Charlie, this girl, how can you be ovulating and then you are wetting at the same time? Like... How? How? How can you tell me this story? How? How? Okay. The thing, I take a World Cup. I no lose guard crap. After a while, 
I asked if she was ready, and she said yes. I no lose, I no lose guard. I unbuttoned her shorts and pulled it down, and realized she was wet already. Hey, Robert. Hey, happy girl. She say, "Mo, she shall go on to say, Mo, what has Mo placed things in order?" That's okay. Let's go. I adjusted her panties. Oh, mommy, do I bust school? See, be she and then for pants now. I just stand and see. Well, okay. I realized she was enjoying it because she didn't let go of my hands and she was moaning too. Oh, mommy, that was it. That's it. Oh, mommy, that was it. Papa, that was it. That day was one of my biggest sensual, sexual fantasies because it was the first time I received a blow job. And damn, it felt so good. Very, very good. After some time, I took my shorts off completely and started the match first with missionary. Missionary. Okay, that's not bad. It looked like it had been a while since she had had sex because she was so tight and I felt warm upon penetration. That's nice. It was a little over an hour and still my friend and my roommate hadn't come. So we sat down and had a chat and she asked me if I had another movie. I said yes and we switched up the movie. While I was watching the movie, we got caught up in the mood and we started acting naughty again. <laughs> I sat behind her and was massaging her boobs. Be no fool. What do you have for people? People, 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 people. <laughs> Out of nowhere, my friend walked inside and caught me in the act. She was in shock if it will be you. If it will be you. <laughs> and she was disappointed in me. She asked if we did it, and we both denied. I was so embarrassed and had to leave. When I walked out, she followed me outside and asked me why we were doing that. I told her it was a mistake and I apologized to her. I left to campus and had to visit a friend at Jay's Royal. I can see the guy had a different match at Jay's Royal. I'm very, very sure. When I reached the school field, a number called me and it was a girl. She told me I shouldn't mind her friend and that's how she is sometimes. Only God knows where the girl got my number from. Because I never spoke with her until that day. I have never seen her on campus in Pooh. We had a little chat and ended the call. I couldn't text my friend to apologize properly because I was so, so ashamed. Oh, fairy. You will not be shy. Hey. The next lecture was Monday. I sat at the back and immediately the lecture closed. I took my bag and as I was just about leaving, she called me and rushed to me. I said hi and then she told and then told her I was sorry for what happened and I didn't know what came over me. You see that vibe? You see that vibe? Yeah. She said to me, point blank, that she would only accept my apology if I do the same thing I did with her friend with her too. I think these are some of the, the female friends that some boys need in their life. You understand? I know some boys need girls like this to be doing this to them. I was like, what do you mean? You see this boy, he's pretending. And she was like, I know what really happened. And if I tried acting smart, she would tell everyone about it, especially friends in the class. So at this point, I think it's blackmail. The boy... Or the girl wants to blackmail the boy. No way, Dino. What's that say? No way, Dino B. Now I am a dear. Or caress the girl on your boobs. No, whatever happened in your room. The girl wants the same thing to be done to her. Okay. I couldn't think straight because I knew what this girl could do. All of a sudden, she started being all nice and would call every day just to check up on me. So one day, she sent me a text to meet her in front of Sars Block where the summer had to. So we talked things to okay i thought that place was for learning i didn't know if people meet and discuss things after lectures i met her there and she hugged me and we started to talk and she said she just wants me to come over again so that we watch the movie again and ask which day would be appropriate and we set a day on saturday 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 jesus rested 
Who did you bunny a kiss Boy. Fast forward. It was Saturday and I was so tired because I had watched a lot in the morning. So I took a nap. I woke up to 12 missed calls from here. 12 missed calls. 12. I called back and told her I was coming. <laughs> I washed down, dressed up, and set on to her place. I stay at Dungu, so I had to walk that long distance to her place. I got there sweating, and I knocked on her door. She came to open, and she was the only one in there. Definitely, definitely. She would be the only one in the room. Definitely. She told me her roommate was visiting her boyfriend out of campus and would be coming after the weekend. That's nice. Very interesting. She told me I should be calming. I should be calm, thinking she was the reason I was sweating, not knowing it's because of it's because I had to pass through the burning sun. Charlie, those of you who know Tamale, you know that this place is like one city away from the sun. Like I say, yes, she Tamale, yes, she. Hey. Mm. I took my laptop out and as I was about to on it, she held me and said, You and I know you ain't here because of the movie. <laughs> Interesting story. Interesting story, guys. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, so before I could say anything, she held my dick. A patcher said, "You only saw the cutting. What does it? Or saw the day? The cutting. Like she mean me rough. Of course, she will mean you definitely. I really felt that pain, but then it isn't enough to keep Kofi down. Man got up and was already poised for action." Ready for war. I said in my head, I'll fuck this girl mercilessly. And mind you, I bought a condom on my way. (laughs) Fast forward. I grabbed her ass and kissed her like there was no tomorrow. Udi Bonnie. Udi Bonnie and say. Bonnie and say. I took her bra off, choked her. I mean, wait till. He took her bra off, soaked her, and asked her if she's really ready for it. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Are you ready for it? Okay, let's go. She said yes, slowly and passionately. I mean, I understand the girl. I understand the girl. Passionately. I kissed her from the neck and made my way to her boobs. And I sucked her nipples so good. Hey, boy. Boy. I took off her panties and girl was already dripping. I started with doggy. Hey, this girl is good. <laughs> hey, we fucked over an hour and, I, and then I had to come. After we went on for about three rounds, it was epic and exhausting. I did really enjoy it though. After that, she was all like, I'm a bad boy, and who taught me how to fuck and so I'm playing two questions. Who taught you how to fuck? Tell me. Who taught you how to fuck? Who? Who? Catch you me. I left her place having a lot of thoughts in my mind that what if she tells her friend, I like her friend and would like to continue doing whatever we have started. But you just did that once. So, okay, well. I like my friend too because I enjoy the sex with both. I do feel I settled down with her friend because she's cute and more polite. Because she's cute and polite. This is my story, family. I'll be needing your advice on whom to settle down with, though. So, guys, you can bring in your ideas, your comments, whatever you think about the story. And our brother here says, he needs your advice on whom he should settle down with. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification, and like this video. In fact, like all our videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe to this video and share your ideas. Comment everything. Comment what you think about our channel. Bye. Yeah.